I'm Matt with eTrailer. If you like to take a lot of road trips or go on vacations with your family, but you're running out of space in the back of your 2024 Hyundai Kona, then the Yakima Roofbox is going to be a great option for you. This is going to allow you to carry any of those longer items that you might have issues trying to put in the back of your vehicle or even on your hitch. It's also going to be a great thing too if you don't already own a hitch or you're using your hitch for something else, especially since we get a lot of coverage with this. So let's check it out. Now to be able to use the Yakima NX16 roof box, you're going to need a roof rack. And most will do, you just got to make sure you got crossbars that aren't going to be too thick. But we can take a closer look at this box and how it's going to perform. So to open it up, you're going to need a key because this does have some lock cores just for that added security. And what's nice about this design is you can really open this up from either side. So if I want to open up from my driver's side, I can. If I want to open it up from my passenger side, I can. And that's really important because if you run into any situations where one side is blocked, then you can just go in from the other side. And what's nice about this design is once I push it up, it's going to stay in place, which gives me the ability to really hop up here and access my cargo. And that's going to be because we have these hinge locks. And we're going to have this included tool that is stored inside of here. And this is for our clamps. So we can tighten them down from the other side. And if you notice, we have some clicks because this has a uh, built-in torque device. So this will let us know when this is fully tightened down which just makes using this whole thing a little bit easier too. You also notice right next to that, we have these ridges. These ridges are designed so if you have some gear in here or some luggage in here, that's gonna sit above anything. So if you have something kind of messy, that mess is gonna sit in this channel instead of being flush with your items. We can take a closer look at the rest of the clamp, but first I'm gonna close this box. And what's nice about that is this box doesn't sit up too high, and that's gonna be because the Kona isn't a super tall vehicle, so I really don't mind using any roof accessories up here. Now, if you are a shorter person, if you do struggle with grabbing that lid at the top, we can just grab the string that is attached to it to make this process a bit easier. And when I close this down, I can just take my key out and close it up the rest of the way but I can't take out my key right now because I haven't closed this the rest of the way. The reason I can tell is because we have this red bar. If I actually pull on this a bit more, you can see that lever shifted up. That's letting me know it's shut the rest of the way. And I can remove this key once everything is flush. But we can take a closer look at these clamps now. And the way this is designed is we're gonna have the bottom half wrap around here and this is what's adjustable or what we adjusted earlier in our carrier and it's going to wrap around but not connect to this other side but it's pretty close to it and what's really going to affect that affect that is the type of crossbar you have this will work with most of them whether that's round square or even elliptical ones now you might have some issues if you have some hd bars it'll fit some of them but Sometimes it won't be able to wrap around those thicker ones. We can take a look at how this is going to fit on top of our roof, starting at the front. Right now where we have this position is just how we have the crossbars at, and that's really going to depend on what type of crossbars you have. But most of them should work similar to this. But we're going to have just a slight overhang over the top of our roof, and I really don't think this is at a bad spot at all. Honestly, it could be a little bit further, it wouldn't be an issue either. And if you do have it up here and you have a sunroof, that's probably gonna be blocked by this. And honestly, I wouldn't recommend using that sunroof just in case it did make contact with those clamps, even though they don't take up a lot of space either. Up here, you can really see that it does take up a majority of our cab. And that kind of puts it into perspective just how big this box is and how much you're probably going to be able to fit in here too. Now, where we do find an issue is how this sits on the very back. And if maybe your crossbar is spread, you can push this forward just a little bit. I strongly encourage it because I won't be able to open this up completely without making contact. 
as you can see right there. I'm just barely touching that. It's probably gonna go in a bit more, but it's definitely something to think about with how this fits up here. This is also gonna sit up pretty high too. It's gonna sit up by 16 inches on top of your roof rack. So what I recommend doing is taking the total height of your vehicle plus your crossbars and adding that additional 16 inches. So you know what areas you can make it under, anywhere like a garage. I also recommend keeping this in the center of your roof because of a couple of reasons. One, if there's ever a situation and you are used to accessing it from your driver's side, but your driver's side area is blocked, then you wanna access it from your passenger side. But if you have it pulled all the way this way, it's gonna be really tough to get to it. And the second reason is you're probably not gonna be able to get anything else up here because one, it is a pretty big box. And two, it's probably gonna be maxing out your weight capacity for either your roof rack or your roof. That's gonna be because the box itself weighs a decent amount. And if you are loading it with any of your gear or luggage, that's gonna be additional weight, plus your crossbars as well. So what I recommend doing is just finding out what your roof and crossbars are rated for, and then going from the lowest rated component. In my opinion, I think this is a really nice option for you, especially if you can get this box just shifted forward just a little bit because this does have tracks on it that you can slide it around. Right now we have this maxed out because if you want the hatch access, then this needs to be shifted forward just slightly. Now there's plenty of other roof box options from Yakima, from Thule, and all of them are just fine, but I wouldn't recommend going above the size because you're gonna get into a lot of fitment issues. Now, if you wanna go a different direction with it and you just don't need that full coverage and you need something a little bit more affordable and you don't mind the elements getting on whatever you're hauling, then I'd recommend any of our baskets. Our baskets are gonna be great because one, you can kind of play around with their placement a bit more, and two, they're gonna do the job as well. But if you do need that extra coverage, then this is gonna be an excellent choice for you too. But that's just a look at the Yakima NX-16 roof box on top of our 2024 Hyundai Kona. I'm Matt, thanks for watching.